Hi, and welcome to this lightning talk about how to get started with Front Matter CMS to manage your website. So let me quickly tell you what Front Matter actually is. Front Matter is a CMS that runs within Visual Studio Code. Originally, I started developing it in 2019 when I was moving away from WordPress over to Hugo. In 2021, I added some more CMS-like functionalities for content management, media management, data management, and so on. Today, Front Matter is a real CMS that runs straight within Visual Studio Code for any static site generator, like for instance, Hugo. More information about Front Matter can be found at frontmatter.codes. And in this lightning talk, I will show you how to install, configure, and use it within your project. Front Matter is an extension for Visual Studio Code, so we have to install it within it. In order to continue, what I already did is open my Bluff project or my personal website within Visual Studio Code. In my projects, I have a content folder and in the content folder, you can find all my articles. So what I want to do now is go to the extension panel and look for From Matter. When I find it, I can click on install and it will install Front Matter within Visual Studio Code. You can also see this on the left side in the activity panel, you will find a Front Matter logo and I can click on the open dashboard. The open dashboard is normally going to load your content dashboard, but if it is the first time, it will show a welcome experience in order to initialize the project. So this is what we are going to do for my current project. We are going to initialize it and Front Matter is going to check which static site generator you're going are using. If it knows which one you're using, it's going to set it. Otherwise you can set it yourself. The next thing it needs to know is where you're going to manage your content or which content you want to manage. So in my case, I'm only interested in managing my articles for my blog. I can set this. Once it's set, it's done and I can click on show the dashboard. The content dashboard is going to retrieve all the files that are available inside your content folders that you previously configured. Once the view is loaded, you will be able to filter it for instance, based out of the status of your article or any of the metadata that is available inside these articles like text or categories. On the same view, you can also create new content. You can do this by clicking on the create content button, specifying a title, and then the page will be created. The front matter panel will load with a new metadata section. This metadata section corresponds to the front matter of your current article. There you can also do updates and it immediately reflects in the content. Some of these fields, they will also be checked for the SEO status, like the length or if the keywords are being used. Another type of field is a media field on which we allow you to select a media file from your media dashboard. So whenever you click on this, the media dashboard will be loaded and you can go through your folder structure in order to select a media file that you want to reference. We also support text and categories that you can pre-configure or add them on the fly. We know that not every site is the same, so that's where we have our frontmatter.json file where you can do some extra configuration in order to make the experience yours. For instance, our default content type. This contains a couple of fields like the title and the description. But if you want, for instance, to add a new author field, which is a choice field based out of two authors like Tom and Elio, um, this can be done within that particular file by just adding a new reference to that field. And once that field is being referenced, you will see it immediately reflect inside your metadata section. For the content of your page, we also have some useful functionality, like for instance, inserting snippets or media files. So if you click on the media file button, there it will load the media dashboard and you can select the file that you want to reference inside your content. Now to validate this, you can go to the action section and open the preview if you have your local Hugo service running, and then you can actually visualize the preview of the current page. 
Thank you very much. I was Elias Raf and have a great day. Bye.